It's going to happen. You're going to get holes, scratches, or dents in your walls. But if they're made of drywall, the good news is they're usually easy to repair and the work can be done pretty quickly. For small holes and dents, use a putty knife or your finger to fill the hole with lightweight spackling. Let it dry 15 to 30 minutes, then sand with fine grit paper until smooth, and paint. To fill a narrow crack, widen the crack slightly and then brush off any loose pieces. Fill the widened crack with lightweight spackling using your finger or a putty knife. Then smooth the area by applying more thin coats of spackling. Sand once the patch is dry and it's ready to be primed and repainted. When you get to painting, know that you might need to paint the entire wall and not just the repaired area. If it's been a while since the wall was originally painted, the colors might not match. For larger cracks or holes, reinforce the repair by using joint tape. Cut a strip of self-adhesive fiberglass drywall tape and place it over the crack. Spread a coat of the joint compound over the mesh which acts as a backing. Let it dry thoroughly, then sand. If necessary, apply another coat and sand until smooth. For smaller repair jobs, you might want to get a drywall patch kit like this. It has everything you need to get the job done. Bigger repairs are a bit more involved. Outline the damaged area with a carpenter square. The top and bottom should be at least one inch outside of the damaged area. And try to center the sides over the wall studs on both sides of the hole. Also, don't assume that all the damage is visible. Quite often, the exterior drywall paper is intact, but the cracked drywall material on the back side of the wall extends beyond the edges of the hole. When you measure your cut, make sure you're an inch beyond all of the damage. Cut along the horizontal lines using a drywall saw until you reach the studs. Measure three quarters of an inch to the center of the stud, mark the spot, and then cut the sides with a utility knife. Cut a piece of scrap like a one by three, two to four inches bigger than the hole to serve as a patch support and carefully secure to the wall with drywall screws. From a scrap piece of drywall, make a patch the size of the opening using a utility knife. You can trace the piece you remove to ensure the replacement section is the same size. Place the patch in the opening and attach with drywall screws away from the edges to prevent crumbling. Place strips of self-adhesive drywall tape over the seams of the patch and using a 9-inch putty knife spread joint compound across the tape and patch to create a smooth flat surface and let it dry overnight. To finish the job the next day, sand the patch and apply a second coat. Let it dry and then sand again. At this point, if you're happy with how the patch blends in, then you can go ahead and paint. If not, spread a third coat, this time using a 12-inch putty knife. When dry, sand until smooth and paint.